there's two routes of progress in your prose writing career. First is the technical English composition aspects. When writing about lunch, for example, you learn to make the reader's mouth water by discussing the aroma and citrus tang of the lemon slices being consumed off the plate. Yum. Second is the intrigue, suspense, and tension you evoke in your reader by your skill in storytelling. Now, I'm not telling here about how you should write a movie script. I'm talking about my experience in two feature films I saw back in the 90s where I realized I was failing and where I was succeeding. So in 1995, my wife and I saw the film Seven in the theater. Uh, Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Kevin Spacey. Um, and it's, um, uh, you know, intriguing film, lots of suspense. And when I got to the end, I was just enjoying the film. I wasn't paying attention to it as a story. I wasn't analyzing it. But I had been told by many good writers I should do exactly that when I'm watching a film. And uh, I had not been doing that. So when it gets to the end, there's a box. And suddenly everybody's focus. What's in the box? That's the focus. There's a twist ending. And I'm sitting there in the theater. My mind is racing. Oh, I'm sure the clues were there. I didn't see them. What's in the box? Well, then the, while I'm trying to figure out what's in the box, what's in the box is revealed. So I missed that chance. I thought, okay, from now on, I'm going to pay more attention. I'm going to think more about how the storytellers made their decisions. So, four years later, I'm watching a movie called The Sixth Sense with my wife, 1999. Sixth Sense, Bruce Willis. I'm in the same theater in this probably possibly the same seat, but this time I'm paying attention. So uh, halfway through this movie, there's a kid, and uh, he's the uh, focus point, Haley Joel. Osmond, and um, says he sees dead people. He reveals his secret to this psychologist, Dr. Crow, Malcolm Crow, Bruce Willis. I see dead people. And then he says, just a couple of nights later, they don't know they're dead. It's right there. We're halfway through the movie, not even quite halfway, near the midpoint. I see dead people. They don't know they're dead. He's looking at Bruce Willis. I got bingo, got this one. I've learned since seven. I know what's in the box. At the end of this movie, in about another 55 minutes or so, they're going to uh, reveal that uh, Bruce Willis died in that shooting at the, near the beginning of the movie. And of course I'm right. I know where the act one break is, the midpoint, the third act, and the big reveal. So, uh, way leads on the way, and uh, not much longer after that, I'm at a party, and they're talking about uh, the Sixth Sense, a bunch of the people at the party had seen that. 
and some friends of mine, people who knew me and knew who I was a writer, and I told them exactly the story I just told you. And they're nodding their heads, and they, they know I'm telling the truth. So a little later, uh, a woman I, moved, I had met, didn't know very well, uh, she comes in and she's talking about uh, Six Sense and what a great movie it was. Nobody could have possibly figured out the twist ending. And she knew, I mean, she's smart. She was president of her Mensa chapter. And so if she couldn't figure it out, nobody could. Of course, my friends, one of my friends was there. It's uh, Robert figured it out. And they called me over and I start to explain. And then basically she calls me a liar. You couldn't have figured it out. So, fine. What I don't do anymore is tell people about movies or books, uh, unless it's other writers. Other writers are, are interested in that kind of thing. Um, but um, the consumers of the product usually are not, especially if they, uh, you know, are very proud of themselves and their intellectual prowess and don't want to think somebody else could figure something else out they couldn't. But you'll do that as a writer as you progress. Now you may, like me, I mean, I kind of was just enjoying a movie and not paying attention. Or you go to movies and your wife will tell you, as mine told me, eh, you spoil a movie for yourself. Yeah, I do. I don't enjoy movies as much as I used to because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And usually by the midpoint, I've figured out what's going on, what's going to happen in the second half. And it, ask around. So does every other writer.